Hello, my name is Ann Nye West. My six grandchildren call me Grandma Ann. Have you ever wanted to publish a book or a children's book that your grandma, grandchildren or children have written? It sounds like an insurmountable task, but it isn't. Thanks to the, independent, the Colorado Independent Publishers Association, I'm living proof that anyone can do it. So here's my story. It's been a remarkable adventure with my oldest granddaughter, Maraid. Maraid loves to write. As a little girl, she was always writing about everything and drawing pictures. When, when she was 12 years old, she was inspired by her little brother, Johnny, to write a story about a little boy who had lost his football and was looking for it. She, imag she drew pictures to illustrate her story, and she imagined it would be a lift the flap board book for little toddlers just like her little brother. When she showed me her stories and her drawings, I thought it would be just a great project for the two of us to do together. I've long wanted to write children's stories anyway, and I just thought this would be just, uh, I was very taken with her, uh, what her story was. And so I uh, have had a career in designing and, and printing newsletters and brochures. And so I thought I had the confidence to translate those skills to producing a book. Um, so I started by taking her drawings and her story and laying them out in the form of a book. And I created a proof for her to review. And she wanted to make some changes to it. And so we worked together on the changes. And when we were happy with what we had, we decided we needed to go to the next step. And that was to hire a professional graphic artist to upgrade her illustrations to reproduction quality. Well, I'd been working with a graphic artist uh, who agreed to take on that project. And so over the course of the next year, Maraid and I and our graphic artist worked on that together. Um, and then um, when we got it where we wanted it to be, we needed then to find a way to move it from his computer to a real book. So I called several independent or publishers of children's books and uh, inquired about getting our book published. And they said it would be at least two years before they would publish it if they decided to publish it. So doing some more research about how I might get this done, I heard about the Colorado Independent Publishers Association. And I'm so glad that I did. I checked them out and I went to the very next SEPA meeting and I joined that very day. Thanks to SEPA, it is thanks to SEPA that my granddaughter and I have now got this book been published. And um, it was at SEPA that I met people just like myself who always wanted to publish a book, who had written books, and many of them had already written books and published them. And um, so over the course of the next two years, attending SEPA meetings and networking with my fellow SEPA members, I learned everything that I needed to know about getting this book published where to get it printed, how to apply for the copyright, the ISBN number, how to market it. Um, uh, and I was so inspired that I decided to launch my own publishing company to publish this book for Maraid. Um, and it was at SEPA that I met the representative of the company that ultimately printed it. And he gave me some coaching at the end for uh, final changes to make the book uh, more uh, to position it better for sales and for and ways to market it. So um, in 2013, Where's My Football was published by Bristlecone Publishing. In 2014, it won three literary awards, Creative Child Magazine's Best Board Book of the Year, the Moonbeam Children's Book Awards Bronze Medal for the Best Book by an Author Under the Age of 18, and the SEPA Evie Merritt Award. It is available on Amazon and at several Denver bookstores. It's just been a terrific adventure and has brought our, my granddaughter and I very close. Um, and uh, we've just really enjoyed it so much. So for all you grandmas and grandpas out there and moms and dads, if you have a children's book that you would like to publish or your one of your children or grandchildren has written a book you would like to publish, I'd say go for it. <laughs> and. Um, if, if you live in Colorado, I would ask you, encourage you to check out the, independent, the Colorado Independent Publishers Association, which will help you and inspire you and encourage you to pursue your dream and bring it to a reality. 
Uh, we are always looking for new authors and young authors. So um, good luck on your grand adventure as well. <laughs>